In this video, we will present several highlights from our upcoming October 27, 2010 Modern and Contemporary Art Auction. All of these works are fresh to the market. First, let us examine some pop art pieces. In addition to the well-known Andy Warhol print series, Cowboys and Indians, from 1986, Heritage will be offering a special and very rare print by Roy Lichtenstein, Road Before the Forest, from 1965. One of Lichtenstein's signature motifs was the enlarged artist's brushstroke, which he elevated to a subject in its own right. A founder of pop art in the early 1960s, Jim Dine is best known for his series of hearts, tools, venuses, and bathrobes, images that have become icons of American culture. In 1974, Dine was captivated by a single Van Gogh drawing shown in a London exhibition, and in 1983, he executed the print series Drawing from Van Gogh 3. Here, Dine depicted Van Gogh-like laborers at work. By drawing, erasing, and redrawing the figures, and using a variety of unconventional materials, the artist himself toiled until he arrived at an emotionally charged point between realism and abstraction. The idea of human labor is further intensified here by the heavily worked surface of the drawing. Exemplifying abstraction and minimalism are works by Gerhard Richter and Frank Stella. Another auction highlight is this untitled 1986 drawing by Richter, especially timely as the Drawing Center in New York is currently featuring a selection of his abstract drawings. Richter enjoyed a much praised solo exhibition of his paintings in 2002 at the Museum of Modern Art in New York. At that time, the largest exhibition ever dedicated to a contemporary artist. This striking work on paper certainly shares a close connection with his paintings on canvas. On the one hand, it demonstrates his expressive use of color in an abstract style, borrowing from the gestural painters of the 1950s and 60s. On the other hand, the drawing appears to have once contained a representational subject, which Richter then destroyed as if flattening it with a spatula. Indeed, Richter has spent his entire career investigating the ways in which art reflects and influences the way we perceive the world. His subjects have included the nude, portraits, landscapes, color perception, and the limits of abstraction. Pergasa Three Double is the culmination of minimalist artist Frank Stella's extraordinary Circuits series of 11 prints, begun in 1982 and finished in 1984. This, the final print, is double in size, spanning two sheets, where the bottom image is a mirror reflection of the top one. The Circuits series is based on auto racing circuits, and Pergasa is a professional speed track in Sicily. Here, Stella has translated the loops, curves, and excitement of the track into the flowering calligraphy of the four interlocking serpentine shapes. Combining pop, organic, and conceptual art influences is the New York artist Linda Binglis, who has pursued a career committed to exploring new materials and relationships and questioning traditional ways of making sculpture. Her intriguing sculpture Megisti II, another auction highlight, demonstrates her characteristic irony, in this case transforming a soft material into something hard. 
the sculpture looks very casual, like a hastily arranged scarf. And the title refers to the Greek island where she visited her grandmother. In February 2011, the New Museum in New York, in conjunction with the Irish Museum of Modern Art, Dublin, will host a retrospective of her work. Another conceptual artist represented in the auction is Christo, who completed his groundbreaking Surrounded Islands off the Miami coast on May 7, 1983. For this particular earthwork, he surrounded the 11 Biscayne Islands with 6.4 million square feet of pink polypropylene fabric, which extended 200 feet from each island on floating booms. The project cost $3.5 million and utilized hundreds of workers. Seven public hearings, 10 permit applications, $400,000 in environmental tests, 30 months of preparation, as well as numerous attorneys, marine biologists, ornithologists, and marine engineers were needed to complete the project. Viewed from the air, land, and water, the work contrasted with the blue and green of the environment, as well as evoked Miami's Latin aesthetic. Rejecting the tenets of conceptualism in favor of a return to figuration and symbolism was the 1980s movement Trans Avant Gardia. During the 80s, museums around the globe began exhibiting the works of Mimo Palladino, a trans avant gardist who deeply affected the contemporary art scene with his approach to figuration, at once rooted in ancient heritage, myth, and mystical resources. In allegory, Palladino employs mosaic, a time-honored and painstaking medium linked to the Italian past. Composed of rare, inlaid marbles in rich colors, even the frame and granite architectural elements are stones. This mosaic foregrounds a schematic androgynous nude who floats in ambiguous space his right hand reaching into a large, primitive vase. The figure seems unaware of a smoke or liquid-like substance, which also resembles a menacing fish or serpent. Below the vessel, an abstracted hand is reaching up with a claw-like threatening gesture. Nonetheless, the white figures appear to dominate by pressing down the dark symbols. Another work by Palladino offered in this auction is the 1981 drawing, Garden of Delights. It employs a wealth of color, saturating both sides of the paper in order to conjure up a lush garden. Its striking format, an icon-like Greek cross, lends weight to the image. Yet within this form, a casual atmosphere prevails where expressive red and gold branches and fruits hide various forms of wildlife. Thank you for viewing these highlights from our modern and contemporary art auction. We will look forward to seeing you there.